Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Insight on Business. My name is Michael Libby, and this is the show that helps you understand more about advertising, marketing, consumer trends, best business practices, and we just have fun doing it. If you want to communicate with us, we do monitor Twitter. That's at Insight ADV. That at Insight ADV. And you can interact with our guests. You can ask questions. You can tell me to go to hell. Whatever you want to do, uh, <laughs> you know, go ahead. And uh, you can join us uh, uh, live. Insight ADV. We monitor Insight ADV. That's for our advertising agency. Uh, we monitor that not only during the broadcast but elsewhere in in the world as well. So, what happens when a nonprofit organization sits down and they go, hmm? You know, we've had a pretty successful run doing whatever it is that we're doing. We've got members, we've got stuff going on, but our brand is getting a little stagnant. What do you do when you want to rejuvenate whatever it is that you have? And it doesn't have to be a nonprofit, it could be your business. We're going to have, show you some great campaigns that have revitalized two brands uh, here in just a moment. That was fun. <laughs> Our, Ryan, our, our producer, is in there uh, uh, playing with the uh, the screens. Um, so we've got a couple of representatives here from uh, the Des Moines Cycle Club, uh, Georgie Pease Libby and Jason Rose, who are going to talk about something called Pedal Off the Pounds. Ladies first, ladies and gentlemen, this is Georgie. Georgie, welcome. I haven't seen you in hours. Well, about an hour. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, Georgie, uh, for full disclosure, ladies and gentlemen, Georgie is my bride. And um, so she was kind enough to come in here and suffer the slings and arrows of being on the show today to talk about Pedal Off the Pounds. Give us a little bit of background about the Des Moines Cycle Club. Who in the heck are you people? We are people who just love to ride bikes. Yeah? Yeah. So, so you, you don't have to be like a world-class athlete. Oh, heavens no. We have level from the very, very most beginner, beginner, um, up to we have our own race team who do quite well and are ranked in the state and I think even in the nation. And so we have all levels of riders and there's always something for everybody. Uh, you're also connected on social media. It's at uh, DS. DM Cycle Club. There you go. DM Cycle Club. Uh, yes. And Facebook. And <laughs> well, it's a little different on Facebook. That's the Twitter handle. So just go to your website, right? Go to our website. It's dmcycleclub.com. All right. So um, what, what do you guys do? I mean, other than ride bikes, um, why would I become a member of the Des Moines Cycle Club? Well, there's lots of reasons to become a member. Um, one thing, you, you get this very cool key card that, <laughs> yeah. and I don't have, it's in my purse and it's in the other room, but um, there's our QR code and it lists a calendar of all of our rides coming up. It has, um, uh, we have discounts at all the local bike shops, but most of all, it's just the camaraderie of other cyclists and getting together and getting out and doing what we love most. Um, there, we also have um, signature rides. We have our pajama party ride um, late in summer, early fall, where everybody gets together to um, in their pajamas to ride around town. It's a hoot. It's a lot of fun to do that. Um, we also have our signature ride called Tour the Raccoon, and it's an overnight ride that's fully supported that has um, uh, it's 100% on trails. We start in Waukee, right up to Jefferson. Um, then we camp out, have a good time, sing kumbaya around the campfire, and then ride home the next day. And if there's a headwind, that's optional. That's yeah, free. That's, we, that's, we throw that in for fun. <laughs> I think there's another thing that, uh, that is really has, has garnered a lot of membership. Mm -hmm. how, many, how many members, by the way? We're just shy of 200 right now, and that's not counting the race team. The other thing is RAGBRA. Mm -hmm. uh, if mm -hmm. you're a member of the Des Moines Cycle Club, you get a special consideration, is it? Um, we have we have access to RAGBRAI. You have access it, to RAGBRAI. Yeah, we have to be careful how we say that. We can get slapped on the hand. But so we don't, we don't want anybody Yeah, slapped. and it is past time anyway, So, uh, but a lot of people do become members, so they have that. So you have a relationship. Yes. Yes. All right. Very <laughs> We're not sure what they sell, ladies and gentlemen, but we'll, we'll find out. Jason Rose, also in the house. And uh, Jason, this pedal off the pounds thing. I mean, what we, how we build this, Jason, was that, okay, here's an organization that's been sputtering along for a while. Mm -hmm. 200 members, you know, up, down. You're enjoying your own camaraderie. You have all of these other events going on. But outreach 
is kind of important. So you guys dream that, what is Pedal Off the Pounds? Well, Pedal Off the Pounds, the, the idea behind it was to reach out to non-members, maybe people that have always wanted to ride a bike, but really didn't know where to buy a bike, what kind of bike to buy, how to even get started. So we came up with uh, this Pedal Off the Pounds, Pounds Challenge, which is ideally it's a weight loss challenge, just like the, the Biggest Loser TV series. And it's patterned a little bit after that. It certainly is. Yeah. Uh, we thought by taking new riders, uh, get them involved in biking, hopefully they fall in love with it like all of us in the club are. And magically the byproduct of that is they lose weight at the end of our challenge, which is a 22 week program. It runs through the end of September. So this is not just a one-time deal. No. So give, give us, a, so pedal off the pounds, a product of the Des Moines Cycle Club. Uh, and you're hoping to garner not only existing members, but also the support of new people that are out there. How many hundreds of thousands of dollars does it cost for me to, to, to first of all, to join the cycle club? To join the cycle club is is a, a, a individual fee of $20. Yeah. Or family fee uh, of $30. A month? You can get into the club. That's per year. <laughs> per year, okay. Yep. So, all right. So, we've already said that getting into the Des Moines Cycle Club is pretty inexpensive. Yeah, it's What easy. about the pedal off the pound, say, two, three, four hundred dollars $400? No, not at all. It's not even close. It's it's cheaper than a week's worth of food. Uh, if you're an existing member, you can get in for $15. Non-members, we'll let you come along, but it's $30 for the, the entire summer course. All right, so 22 weeks yep. of of being helpful to people as they attempt to lose some weight uh -huh. for less, than, that's, less that's than a family of three can eat at McDonald's. Correct. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And that includes a t-shirt. That includes a t-shirt. And we have, lady, I don't know whether or not these are going to show up. We're going to try it. And, and if, if these guys disappear, it's because of the green screen. Go ahead and we want to show, uh, we're going to have Jason hold one of these up. We'll see what happens. Can you see? Can you see that? No, no it doesn't. <laughs> oh, no, it doesn't show up. We, you know what? Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. Oh, look at the back. back. Yeah. Gotta look ask, at the... Oh, we can't see. On the back. It says got pedals. Yeah. Well, they ask if you've got your pedals. Yeah. <laughs> we should Ladies have worn those. Ladies <laughs> nothing but the best here. High tech stuff at Inside on Business. Um, the campaign, Jason, uh, is kind of patterned after something uh, of a professional coach. Correct. Is that right? Tell yep. us a little bit about that. Uh, well, this is I mean, what I'm saying is this is not just a couple of folks sat around and dreamed this stuff up. No, you're correct. We we do have some guidance to follow. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we are following the book, the latest ebook from USA Cycling coach David Ertl. Uh, just uh, I believe it was last fall, November, December, he came out with a, a book under the same name, Pedal Off the Pounds, in which he discusses sound nutrition combined with cycling and why those two work together in, in such a, a powerful combination. Talks about what foods you should eat, when you should eat, how much you should eat uh, on both days that you ride and days that you're not riding. And we're gonna follow that book as, as for 22 weeks. most of our guidance. Yeah. So do you set it up, Georgie, as if it were, I mean, this has got some similarities to The Biggest Loser, mm -hmm. which I happen to know is one of your favorite. I love that show. I know. It's, it's a very just, encouraging show. It's all the emotion too, mm -hmm. yeah. It's, so, so I so you have teams in this. So what, what's going on? How does this? There all are going to be teams. Uh -huh. um, the uh, there's going to be challenges, just like um, on the show. Um, there will be weekly weigh-ins. There's going to be um, instruction as far. We're going to have some special speakers. Somebody that will come and talk about nutrition. Somebody will come and talk about diabetes and you know the results of being overweight and inactive. Things like that. So there's going to be a lot of instruction as well as um, the, the fun that we're going to have. Um, the challenges, we're not going to tell you what they are because we be want them to be a surprise. Like exactly, uh -huh. exactly. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with that. We are going to have some prizes. And um, uh, we'll see. What else, Jason? Um, like you said, we're going to, we're going to have uh, some teams of people uh, – Kind of divided up uh, so that all the teams are fair. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have weekly challenges, uh, the weigh-ins, of course, and we'll keep track of everybody's weight loss percentage so that we can use that as motivation. The uh, weights will not be posted. Right. We're not going to embarrass anybody like on the Biggest Loser. That's gonna that's gonna be private. We're just gonna tell tell what the percentage was or the weight lost. If that person cares to share their weight, that's up to them. But we're not going to embarrass anybody. The weigh-ins will be private. So this is an accountability program. 
It is, and it's of. going to be an accountability program. We're going each team. We're going to um, give everybody's a uh, little card with everybody's email and phone number on there. Okay. So during the week, because we, we're only going to meet Mondays, so during the week you're not going to lose weight going bike riding one right. day yeah. a week, obviously. So you, we want everybody to get together and be accountable to each other and encourage each other. And um, that, that's part of it. That's a big part of it, the accountability. Jason, uh, you mentioned Coach Rose, or Coach, Coach um, Ertle. Ertle. Yeah. Yes. Um, tell the folks that are watching or listening to this what it means to be a class, a world-class cycle coach. I mean, some people might go, yeah, yeah, okay, fine. Well, no big deal. What yeah. does that mean? You know, actually, he's uh, he's been licensed with USA Cycling as an elite status coach, which is the highest level that they offer. Uh, he's been riding bikes since he was nineteen uh, since nineteen seventy three, um, and I, I believe it was the year two thousand four. He was originally appointed a cycling coach with USA Cycling, but in two thousand seven, uh, they actually I guess promoted him. He'd been through enough training uh, and enough coaching that uh, they promoted him up to that elite status. And, and, and that kind of a status, I mean, how many how many folks do you think are there? I wish I had that information yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah. I, I don't have that. But not only is he a USA Cycling coach, he's also uh, a personal trainer, a certified personal trainer through the National Strength okay. Association. So so he's got a little bit of moxie when it comes to this whole, he understands what's going on. Yeah. And yeah. he's your, I guess he would be your technical advisor throughout this? I just want to add that he is actually a member of the Des Moines Cycle Club, and he is one of the coaches for our race team. He'll be there that first night, our meeting that's on April 29th. Uh-huh. And he'll be talking about how to... Yeah, about yeah. And hopefully he'll show up a few more times throughout the um, the the months that we're doing this and and give encouragement and and challenges. We're talking with uh, Georgie Pease and also Jason Rose about the upcoming event called Pedal Off the Pounds. It's a, a, a new program. Uh, put together by the Des Moines Cycle Club, about 200 members. It's a non-for-profit organization. Georgie, how many employees does the Des Moines Cycle Club have? None. None. <laughs> so, and I, I get a that, whopping paycheck yeah, so I <laughs> of that zero. Question for a very good purpose is because uh, you folks have dreamed up this entire program, Pedal Off the Pounds, mm -hmm. um, and you're going forward with it and this is all volunteer assistance it is it is we we pay for our own shirts we pay for um all the different things out of our own pockets that we do personally um we don't we don't get any um money or anything like that from the club so uh, or sponsors or how, how we don't have well i shouldn't say that some of our rides like there are two there and everything that's not necessarily panned out that way no that's that's uh, not the way it happened at all it's actually turned out to be very fruitful for the businesses along and Ingersoll. also safer absolutely yeah. fewer far by far fewer accidents along Ingersoll with the bike lane so so not only um, not only is this designed to attract new members it's also designed to get people excited about cycling into cycling and boom they they watch the pounds pedal off as as they go down the trail with us from a marketing standpoint jason what do you hope that this does for the club uh obviously we were getting a lot of uh response to our challenge we've got a lot of people out there that are talking about it they've seen either our brochures that we've been uh, distributing throughout the communities uh, our facebook posts we've been talking about it on twitter using social media just as you were mentioning earlier today and, and word of mouth, that's all we've done um, until today when we come on to visit with you. Uh, 
but a lot of people are talking about it. They they are saying that it's promoted by Des Moines Cycle Club. Uh, we just want a larger presence in the in the Des Moines cycling community. And I think this is going to do it. Um, I'm just checking the Twitter feed uh, as we're talking. How do folks get involved, Georgie? That's easy. Go to our website. It's dmcycleclub.com. And you'll scroll on that homepage. You'll see our Tour of the Raccoon. If you scroll down a little bit further, you'll see Pedal Off the Pounds. Click on that. You register and pay right there. Um, you can also come to our initial informational meeting, which is next Monday night, the 29th, at 6 o'clock. And which shelter is it at? Um, it's the South Shelter South? at Des Moines Waterworks Park. Yes, South just, Shelter. Just west of the restrooms there. You can see them from uh, George Flag Parkway. Des Moines Waterworks Park, you know, I have ADD friends, and you know how this goes, so I'm, bang, I'm off on another tangent. Going to be the overnight spot for Rag Brothers here. Yes, it is. It's probably about the biggest area around town that has easy access to downtown, so that's probably why they've chosen that. Yeah, this is not a commercial necessarily, ladies and gentlemen, for Rag Bri, although if you're watching from anywhere in the United States or overseas, and you're, th you're thinking to yourself, what the hell are they talking about, Rag Bri? Uh, this is the Register's annual great bike ride across Iowa that's been in place for 35, 36 years. 41. Uh, 41 years. 41 John years. John Karras and my good friend Chuck Offenberger and all those guys uh, that were with the Des Moines Register long ago started this thing. And it um, attracts how many riders, Jason? Up to 20,000 yeah. plus every yeah. year. It's the longest standing, uh, the longest bike ride, the, the oldest bike ride. Uh, what is it? And the largest. And the largest bike ride. In the world. In the world. In the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so if you're into cycling, people we, are already familiar with Everybody needs to ride. do it at least one time <laughs> yeah. to say they've done and, it. And I think one of the things uh, that's so interesting about Rag Bri is that it, it goes all the way across the straight state from the western uh, border to the eastern border. Uh, we dip tires into the uh, Missouri River and dip the back tire in the Missouri River, front tire in the Mississippi River. Right. And it goes for about, about six days? Seven days. Seven days. Yep. Overnight stops in all these uh, small Iowa communities. A great time. It's awesome. Yeah. And uh, when we say 20,000 people, that could swell because of day riders, too. You know, right. people that just hook up to the, uh, to mm -hmm. the ride and say, hey, I just want to ride a day or two yep. uh, of rag bra. It's, it's an interesting thing. Um, over the years, we've hosted, what, Lance Armstrong was here a couple of times? Yeah, he's, he's ridden it three or four years. Mm -hmm. Legs of it, anyway. Maybe yeah. not the entire week, but a day or two of it. Yeah, I know. And uh, former, um, uh, former First Lady Christy Vilsack is an avid uh, bicyclist, and she loves Rag Bri. And, and it's just, <clears throat> I know. If you're, you're sitting in New York right now, and you're going, what the hell is he talking about, this Rag Bri thing? Well, look it up. It's, it's absolutely amazing. And our guests from the Des Moines Cycle Club are a big part of uh, encouraging people to get started uh, on the bicycle so that they can move forward with their health and fitness. When we come back, we're going to continue our conversation with Georgie Pease as well as Jason Rose. We're talking about Pedal Off the Pounds, kids. If you want more information about that, you can go to the website for the Des Moines Cycle Club or uh, just simply follow us. We are also taking your questions and comments on Twitter. It's at InsightADV, at InsightADV. DV. We'll be back with more. And the best campaigns we saw last week for tired brands. That story and more with the Des Moines Cycle Club when we come back. <laughs> 